Hello, my name is James and I'm excited to introduce our awesome new control panel, SM Picnic. The newest addition to SurfMy.com gives you the power to change any aspect of your server in just a few clicks. Today, I will show you some of the exciting new features we've added, such as manipulating the weather, viewing your player statistics and tons more. First, we will log in with the email and password which was sent to me after I ordered a server. After you log in, you will see an overview of all your servers. You can quickly check that your servers are running smoothly and how many players are online. With SM Picnic, you can run different game servers and voice servers under the same control panel, so you no longer have to remember multiple logins for different servers. By clicking the Manage button, you'll be brought to a server manager, which gives you a detailed overview of your server and player statistics. I'll go from the top to the bottom and show you some of these new awesome features. At the top, you can either turn your server on or off. Then to the right, you can check the status of your server and how long it has been online for. Further down, you can see your current surf minor purchase package, your RAM count, server address, and the server version you're currently running. You can quickly change your server address at any time. I will change mine as an example. First, we click the change button to the right of the server address. We can enter a new name and then click the change button to save. As you can see, the server address has been successfully changed and will be working instantly for everyone. Right, let's get stuck in and join the Minecraft server using the new server address I just created. As soon as any player joins, they will appear on the player list. From here, you can view their total number of connects, their online status, their time online, and how long ago they disconnected. By clicking the manage button next to a player, you can view even more statistics. Let's see more information about the player. As you can see, I live in the UK, but for this video, I'll just blank out my IP address. You can also see my total time online. This is really cool because it allows you to see which of your players are most loyal. For example, you could create a benefit system by giving perks to players which are online for a certain amount of time. With just a few clicks, you have total control over any player. Let's test it out. So, if I click the clear inventory button, you can see that my inventory clears. We have even added a kill button. You no longer have to be online to kill those naughty players. There are even more buttons below the player list which gives you control over things like weather, time and server difficulty. As you can see, everything can be controlled instantly. Another brilliant feature of SM Picnic is that you can view detailed graphs of your players. On the first graph, you can see the new versus total players which have joined. You can zoom in to a particular date period or zoom out to an overview of everything. You can quickly see how well your server is doing and predict future trends. And right under that is our player locations graph. This graph simply lets you know where your players are coming from and just how popular they are in each part of the world. All the graphs are live, so as soon as a player connects, your graphs will instantly update. Further up on the left, you have even more ways to manage your server. Let's head over to the console tab and enter a server command. As a test, I will enter Say Hello YouTube. I will now show how easy it is to install a different Minecraft version or mod pack. First we head over to the Game Versions tab. From here we can browse different game versions to install. In this example I will install Craft Bucket which is required for plugins to work. I simply find Craft Bucket then click Install. The version will be automatically installed and rebooted within just a few seconds. Next, we will install some plugins by going over to the Plugins tab. Here you can select from a category, Minecraft version, and by a plugin name. Let's find the plugin Essentials and install it on our server. Once installed, I'll restart my server for the new plugin to start working. Now I'll show you how easy it is to browse and edit your server files using the inbuilt file manager. You can perform multiple tasks like uploading, downloading, renaming, editing and deleting files. As an example, I'll edit the properties file and change the default game mode to creative. It's as simple as selecting the file, clicking the edit button and changing the file accordingly. After I save the file, I simply restart my server for the new changes to take effect. If you'd prefer to manage your files using an FTP client, you can find your FTP login details by clicking the FTP login info to the left. With every Minecraft server, we offer a free database which can be used to store plugin data. 
For example, the database could be used for a plugin like LogBlock, which stores block changes in a database. We also give you a list of all your open ports. When purchasing a Minecraft server from SurfMiner, we provide you a set of ports which are only accessible to your server. These ports can be used for plugins to communicate through. So that wraps it up for today. We're constantly updating SM Picnic with new features which will make running your server even easier. SM Picnic is available right now at surfmire.com. If you are a new customer, you can get 20% off your first month with the promo code SMPicnic. For current customers who are still with the old control panel, we will be upgrading you very soon. If you have any suggestions or ideas for SM Picnic, please let us know in the comments below.